Shalom, ladies and gentlemen. Today, as always, we'll be talking about our weekly Torah portion, Parsha's Beit Hanan, at the second uh, portion in the book of Devarim. Moshe tells about how he is praying to God, asking for God, but this is a packed partial review of whatever happened to us from the uh, Exodus from Egypt, uh, the Ten Commandments mentioned again in this Parsha, as well as one of the central prayers in Judaism, Shema Israel, Hashem Elokeinu Hashem Echad. Listen, Israel, the Almighty is your God, Almighty is is one. Interesting that Moshe Rabbein doesn't say, okay, now I'm going to tell you about the prayer Shema. It's like part of the narrative. He's continued to talk, talk about this like something trivial, like something uh, daily and uh, regular, something consistent. And uh, yes, the words of Shema, many of you are familiar with, and uh, we use these words to com uh, comfort the mourners. We use these words in the critical moments in our lives. Rabbi Akiva, when he was uh, returning his soul to the Creator, the terrible uh, execution by the Roman uh, Roman Empire, uh, he said this word, those were the last words that he said until today. Our uh, boys are uh, saying those words when they uh, give up their lives uh, for the, as the Jews, for the Jews. Uh, but um, interestingly, the text of Shema, it seems very trivial. It's not like something very poetic and so on. Yes, it begins with the words that love your God, and we get to this. Yes, it seems that love to God is something impossible. How to commend to love somebody? But to understand that that Shema, it's not actually the prayer. It's a declaration of our relation with God, and it's something really daily, a consistent, and something really trivial, should be trivial for us. We have to understand who is saying those words to. It's not a prayer to God. Say Shema Israel, listen Israel. That, and who is the Israel that's saying those words, Almighty is your God, Almighty is one, the one that Israel that is saying, meaning I'm saying those words to myself. And then we can look in a different perspective to whatever happens later in Shema, the first paragraph. Yes, love, it's important, a lot of, uh, a lot of poetic words are said about love. But Rabbi Akiva, that was, was mentioned before, said that the most important book in the Tanakh, it's a book Shira Shirim, Song of Songs. This is an erotic book of relation between two lovers that are simply a model of the relation between the Jewish people and God. But how to achieve this love? Let's understand that it all begins from the end of the paragraph. In the end of the paragraph, we have the mitzvah of mezuzah, that those words, the same words of Shema, should be at your doorpost. And no, the mitzvah of mezuzah, it's not to, when you pass by, kiss it three times or jump around or whatever. Yes, you have to notice that mezuzah is there. The mitzvah itself, it's to have the mezuzah on your doorpost and then notice it. Why do you need to notice that? Because those words, it's a reminder when you leaving home, is it synagogue or a temple or you're living your own home, family, your beloved ones uh, and you're going to work, you're going to be this world, you still have a God, despite the fact that you're not present at the place where mezuzah is. You still have your family, you still have your partner that you love and it's love not only when you close, but only when you distance. You, the mezuzah, when you leave the home, reminds you about this love that you will not forget when you go to the big world. But especially when you're coming back from the big world, with all the worries and turbulence and everything, when you enter the house of God, the love is there. You have to leave all the turbulence outside. When you enter your home, your family, you're getting closer to your loved one then you have to leave everything aside. There's only the connection. And those words, words of love, every day you're leaving, you're coming, you're getting up, you're waking up, you're going to sleep. Those words, as the Shema says, you should talk to your children about this love, as to the God or to your partner. As those words you have to tell one to another. And then we coming to the beginning of the paragraph, the love, when say Ve'ahavta, it says that you should love. It's not about a response, and it's not about how they love you, either your partner or God. No, when it's about your love, and it said it should be with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your essence, and when it's a love that you dedicate yourself completely, on a daily basis, when you leave and you will come back, when you go and you will stay, then there is no question about a return, either from your partner or from God. Good luck. Thank you. I see you next week.